Biologists every day collect large quantities of data from wet lab experiments and high throughput genome sequences. The data is overwhelming and nobody knows how to explore it. In the business intelligence domain, a part of the work consists in analyzing all the news data concerning companies who want to optimize their strategy. They need real-time analysis tools to stay ahead of the competition. Banks serve billions of credit card transactions per day. They have to quickly detect how criminals are acting in order to neutralize them. If the criminals are quicker than the banks, you lose your money and the banks lose your trust. In case of epidemics, finding the cause of the disease involves a large amount of data from several areas and supports. Experts have to deal with multiple sources of information, huge number of entries in each, and waste time to cross-combine them because of lack of support and no way to query the data efficiently. But what do these examples have in common? All these people encounter the same problems. They have to deal with masses of dynamic data. They want to answer a lot of questions, sometimes unclear questions, that require exploration. They need both computational analysis and interactive visualization. And they need to export easy to understand representations of their results for communication. Let's now imagine the epidemiologists with visual analytics capabilities. Here we have an epidemic that touches four countries with an abnormal hospital admission rate for people with the same symptoms. They can share their own database of hospitals concerned by the disease and visualize them on a map. It looks like it is not contagious, but experts need further exploration to identify the causes and the nature of the epidemic. After hospitals, a new idea is to share and visualize the localization of people concerned by the disease. Looking at the propagation of the illness, we can see that the pattern doesn't follow communication axes or circle waves. This is a specific pattern that has grown and stopped abruptly. The experts therefore conclude that it is not a contagious disease, but most probably a food poisoning. So epidemiologists decide to investigate what kind of products all of the patients have ingested and localize them on the map. First thing to do, identify the three supermarkets closest to these people. Now, with a list of the supermarkets that might be involved, they can immediately take a look at all the products most of them have in common. This time, the list of products is too broad, and they immediately know that they have to try something else. The experts then try examining the local suppliers and distributors. This time, it's manageable. They now have to check if something has changed for these suppliers during the last three months. The epidemiologists have found four possible causes for the outbreak in record time. The next steps are preparing a preliminary report for the press and for the medical authorities by extracting some of the visualizations they used. Then they can investigate the four possibilities to find out if one is the cause or not. 
Currently, visual analytics is research in progress, and this scenario is only a fiction. So why do we need research in this domain? Visual analytics aims to help manage large amounts of data from various sources. Data management with humans in the loop requires fast data delivery. It also requires on-the-fly data aggregation with domain-specific techniques and flexible query methods to support inferences and heterogeneous data sets. People want answers to a lot of questions, sometimes imprecise ones, and arising through the exploration of the data. They require a blend of computational analysis and interactive visualization. People need quick initial answers, with improvements brought iteratively on demand and steered by the analyst. And they need to communicate with easy to understand representations of their results. They also need presentation materials to be deeply connected to the analysis process in order to be easy to gather and to allow replay and reanalysis if needed. The new research domain of visual analytics can foster discoveries through the combination of data management, analysis and interactive visualization. It can facilitate the monitoring of complex processes and improve the analysis of very large datasets by putting the human in charge of the analysis loop.